Welcome back to Evolution Skateboarding. So we have gone through Rick McCrank. We've gone through the saga of Rick McCrank, but there's 15 levels. We've only done six of them, and I don't think that's enough of the game to end on. And also, you know, my schedule got a bit lazy. So we're gonna go back to, uh, uh, like, arcade mode with another skater, and this, a skater with the most different levels, and this time it happens to be a guy right next to Rick McCrank. So say hello, I don't know, to Carrie Getz. He's also kind of cool, I think. And also, back by popular demand, it's Tinker with me. Hello everybody, I am here to disappoint you now that your expectations are sky fucking high, so I can't wait to get into this. I'd also, I guess, back by, uh, aesthetic demand, it's Kaylee, and Sean's also behind us. So I think... a character called Afro Safari, but that's not really his name. Well, oh right. Uh, <laughs> I never actually showed this off with Rick McCrank because his stats were just too good. But you can go into the gear, and uh, changing all of these actually kind of changes that up a little. So, you know, I don't need a 10 in balance. I don't need a 10 in balance. So, I'm going to go with a 9 in balance and give myself some grinding. And I'm going to give myself an all red board, because, you know, what better way to differentiate yourself, differentiate yourself from the pack? It's like hiding something in plain sight. Red, red is the color of oxygenated blood. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Red is the color of the blood that splatters your screen. Sometimes. Yeah. In evolution skateboarding. So, yo, Carrie gets. we're gonna go to some different levels. We're gonna go to a subway. We're gonna go to go. some ruins. Uh, what's the third one? Then we're gonna go back to Tokyo. You know, did, did you say we're going to the subway? Y yes, we're in the oh. Philadelphia subway. See, I thought you meant the sandwich place. And here's the thing about it. A lot of people like to bash subway because they're like, oh, they don't bake the dough, they don't bake everything fresh there, they, they just bake it from frozen dough. It, you know what? It doesn't make that big of a difference if you make the dough and then bake it. I mean, dough is dough. You freeze it, and then you take it somewhere, and you bake it, it's still pretty damn fresh. Everyone's got their panties in a twist, like, ooh, Fan Hill Subs is so much better than fucking Subway. But it's like, come on, guys. Why don't you give them a fair chance? So what if their footlongs weren't even a fucking footlong? You know what, Tinker? I was actually thinking it was Subway the store as well. I think it would have been pretty impressive to see Carrie try and grind a footlong. So, uh, yeah, what a, what a disappointment. I think it would have been interesting to see them try to make a level out of just a subway. Like, it would have had to be... Entire level out of Jared before he lost all the weight. It would have had to be, like, the biggest subway ever. You know, you want to fucking eat fresh, you gotta walk, like, ten, ten minutes. No, if it was, if it was Grind Jared, or the whole entire level was Jared, it'd be like, 50 extra points for grinding his man boobs. Or... Whatever. <laughs> the, man, the man moves would be a bowl, and you would have to do vert tricks out of it. <laughs> so, so I'm noticing that this looks kind of like a cityscape. Like I'll, I'll get a better view once we get up top here. Yeah, it kind of look. I don't go. I don't. I don't me, go back out of it. it. It reminds me of this episode of Rocket Power, where they had this like this new fancy indoor skating place opened up, and everyone was like. And it's like, holy shit, that popped up overnight. I guess usually what takes nine months of construction only takes one day in rocket power time. But it was still like, it was like a little inside indoor city and there were lights and shit everywhere. And I don't think it's the same episode where they like found Tony Hawk's crazy and impossible to do floating skate course. But all I remember is there was also an episode of rocket power where the girl was just a complete bitch and sold out. <laughs> Do you have all? Uh, I'll bleep that. Do you have all of the uh, Rocket Power episodes on DVD or something on did, Blu-ray on did VHS? You say we're gonna bleep that when you I had... said your real name. Oh. So, but oh. but what? Do you know all? Do you have all the Rocket Power episodes on DVD or something? Do you follow? Up I actually with that? have them on Blu-ray because there's nothing like putting a 480p show on Blu-ray. Uh, it really enables you to yeah. stretch that content. It makes everything look like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah. Is it because you look like Sam from uh, Rocket Power, uh, Tinker? I'll take that as an insult, um, because... Oh, 
know, Sam wasn't that bad. He was okay. the, he, wasn't he like the squid or something? Or was that the other one? No, that was Lars's little brother. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we're going back to the ruins. Uh, okay, can, can you give me, can you give me, can you get, I don't see about that. Can you give me a breakdown on the current situation, Connor? All right. right well, last time we headed to the ruins, which I gotta say, uh, in Konami's previous skateboarding game, there was a ruins level as well. So I guess good on them for not just recycling the level, uh, you know, but last time we went to the ruins, it was either the ruins of New York City, which Rick McCrank had just skated through and ruined, or ruins that were in the far future that he was flung into so that he couldn't stop the evil forces from doing whatever they did. Um, so Carrie Getz is either, I don't know, skating through some more ruins, distur disturbing some more locals, disturbing some more indigenous locals, or he was also flung into the future and he is the true son of Rick McCrank and the savior that we will end up needing. You know, I, I, I saw this in the previous video and, and I'm seeing it now. Where you have crash there, you just did one right there. The crash objectives, where you have to crash into those barrels. It, you know, I gotta say, I saw I saw a shitty YouTube pre-roll ad multiple times that that showed like how these how like these alcohol companies make their own barrels, and it's like, man, they're more durable than to be knocked down by some sleek god of cloth sim crashing into them with his blood oxygen skateboard and it's like <laughs> blood oxygen actually sounds like a pretty cool name for like a skateboard skateboarding company or something i think if i ever start a company uh, uh aside from insetic studios it'll be blood oxygen blood know? oxygen and they specialize in making your blood metal well, true. It could be a could be a recording company or something. I could get all ten of my bands distributed through it. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah. so you you di you didn't answer the question. Is this the is this like just ruins that are somewhere in the world right now, or are these ruins of a popular city in the future, or what? I think the idea of uh, oh hold on hold the phone. Oh, There's, right, a right, winch. Right. There's a winch. Right. There's a winch. Right. Uh, our unique objective was to move this ram. And uh, wait for it. Wait a minute. It's wait a while. Isn't a ram typ typically tipped with a blunt object? That seems more like a, a spear. And I guess you could ram it with it's a, a spear. It's a siege ram. I don't know. Watch out, tree. Yeah. Looks like the evergreen has met its match. <laughs> so. For some characters, there's like a hidden object that you can only get to with the ram in its new position. But for other characters, like Carrie Getz, right? Carrie Getz, that's just not as cool a name as Rick McCrank, I gotta say. You know, Carrie, you got the very medium end of the stick. And I only say very medium because it's not like he got the short end. Rick McCrank just got the long end, you know? Whoa, super speed. Do we all, do we know things like that where people just get the long ends of the stick, you know, just are too badass that everyone else just pales in comparison? Uh... I want to say that when it comes to being a complete asshole, everyone pales in comparison to Ricky Gervais' Twitter account. Like, I swear to God, that guy has like nine anti-Christian, anti-religion phrases, and he just cycles through them week after week. You don't believe me? Look at his Twitter. Like Look I at swear our big to God. Dick problems, and you'll find the same thing. <laughs> our big dick problems. Yeah, our big dick problems. That's a great subreddit. It's like, hey, I'd love to wear shorts that are less than three feet long, but my dick is just trailing the flow. It's like, what am I gonna do? So you could say that they drew the long end of the stick. Yes. All right. I I all right. would actually say that they didn't draw the long end of the stick. They just they've got a really big dick. I, I wasn't trying to uh, make things turn out like this, but I guess I did. So, if you're scared of a uh, uh, of fast forward, then I'm just gonna warn you. Uh, this level's got a lot of it. For some reason, I just what was that? For some reason, I just sh I just shit the bed on this level. And also that one that one objective. I don't even remember what it is, but that that one uh, that I'm gonna go for. 
Uh, it just, I can't get it. I don't know. I can't get it. I shit the bed. I shit the bed. There. Does I your suggest. board stick to the road like shit on a blanket? Yes, it does stick to the road like shit on a blanket. Like, blankets on shit. Have you ever gotten shit on a blanket? Have you ever had a piece of fabric get deflowered that needs to be dry cleaned? Also, did you know that dry cleaners actually use moisture in their cleaning process? Mind blown. Story, man. Watch, you, you, you think I like... got it, you think I got it, and then... Wow. Dude, you know what you should do? You should make a rage comic about that and post it on Reddit. I should. The key to a successful rage comment, comic is four panels painstakingly leading up to the... To, to, like, they set up the joke in a way that you could do with three fucking words, and then you just then you just complain, and then you just put a panel of somebody screaming, and you write f f f f f f u u u u u u u. So a few things. First off, Tokyo. First off, Tokyo Central Park pizza. Uh, people who live in Tokyo, people who've been to Tokyo, tell me. Uh, the commonness of pizza there. I didn't know Japan was a pizza place. Uh, second of all... Oh, hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you didn't know that Japan had pizza? I didn't pizza? think, I mean, they pro- they do- No place- Well, there's- They probably- They probably have it. But were, I didn't you think of them. Say, you were about to say no place doesn't have pizza, right? Right. Okay, I was gonna list like deep shithole third world countries, but no, nope, even they, even yourself. they probably have pizza. No, they probably a pizza hut in the middle got, of like the Republic of Congo. They've yeah, got, they've got rampant AIDS, but that's about it. <laughs> Not the hearing kind. There we go. It's been, it's only been 11:45, and then Tinker says something just absolutely racist. Is that is that how is that racist? I said that people in okay, third whatever. world countries have AIDS. Are you saying that AIDS affect a certain color of people more than anyone else? I, I, I mean, or... You racist well, the first swine. <laughs> okay. You can if you have Oh a my god. Alright, so Kaylee. So, I, I said this at the end of the previous video, and you were there for the fourth video, but that place with the tank, you know, that final boss battle with the tank, it crashes into a pizza place that's in the corner of the area. So they just took this level, stripped out everything in the middle of it, and then made that the final boss area, right? Right. Right, I mean... I mean, you just wonder what kind of construction had to happen in order for that to be possible. Maybe the tank thing happened before all of this, which means that like maybe... It's like a prequel, like maybe it went back in time. Yeah, maybe there are time shenanigans in this. You know, maybe Rick McCrank really was... Uh, sent far into the future. He's a time lord, that would only make sense. Um, or, well, he was sent far into the future at the end of the previous game. Wa saw as, you know, all the bad shit happened, said, I need to get back to the past. Slash the present. And, uh, you, you know, came back. Uh, back. Y you know, you want to help write this with me? I'm trying to, I'm trying to come up with this epic story that's crossing over all these extreme sports genres, and if you've been following my videos, you've seen them sort of develop. I know I'm totally ignoring Tinker over here, but... I'm, I'm that's not... how you piss off the internet. That's how you piss off the internet. Man, I don't know if you know this, but I'm kind of a god. You just need to you should, sit back. Internet, you should see his face right now. You should really see his face. His I cheeks are probably, the rosiest I have ever seen. I, I yeah. want to pinch those cheeks. It's like I slapped blood. Don't fucking touch me. Blood it's like oxygen. I slapped blood from the skateboard company onto my face. And it's like, whoa, the perspective. Whoa. That was an inside joke. I apologize. Yeah, well, Again, I did put out the disclaimer that I'm going to let you down because let's be let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shut up. Um, I guess that's it for the episode. I actually totally did not notice that that was the end. Well, don't worry. You went over on the other yeah. ones. So, so anyway, Tinker, since you know you're becoming this like the sensation, you know, across the internet. Is there anything you'd like to plug? Any LPs you'd like to do? Anything? Because cause if you ever started one, I would host it on my channel. You know, I, I have actually wanted to do an LP. Um, and I, 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 I think a lot of the time the flaws that people do with at Let's Plays is, first of all, they do fucking Minecraft, and it's like, holy shit. Um, but I think... Uh, I have a couple of ideas for some good LPs, and yeah. tune in the next episode... Mm -hmm. And I will tell you what they are, 
cliffhanger. Whoa! All right. Next episode probably won't have you. I'll probably do that with blank test. But, all right. What? 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 What are you talking about?